Hi, I'm Susie Mall, and uh, I'm an artist, a visionary uh, creator, and I like to do repurposing and upcycling. And what first got you started as an artist? Uh, actually, I was born to be an artist. I've always loved art, always uh, drew with crayons, pencil, paper, ink, whatever I could get my hands on. So okay. I was just born to be an artist. Just couldn't do anything else, always taking things apart and creating other things. What does your art mean to you, and how have your feelings on art evolved over the years? Um, well, art is my life, so of course it, it really means everything to me. Uh, I would not be able to live without painting, creating. Um, well, I actually started out, uh, when I was little, not only did I want to be an artist, I wanted to be an art teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, my dad didn't necessarily think that that was a field for me, so I ended up going into graphic design. I figured I could make a living being a graphic designer and also do art, which I absolutely loved graphic design. I was a graphic designer for mm, probably 25 years, had a great run at that, decided to adopt kids, decided my clients were too much for me. I wanted to be home with the kids, so I took a step back, found something in art that I could do with the kids while I was mm -hmm. at home. I did uh, homeschooling with art, uh, math and science with an art twist to it. And so from there, then I decided I needed something else that I could do with the kids at home. I went more to the crafting side of mm -hmm. it. So we could do the crafting on the weekends and I could be home with the kids. My kids still tease me. Oh, craft show kid, mom. We know what that life is like. I guess somehow they say it's like the circus. I don't know. <laughs> um, anyhow, so from there, when my daughter uh, was in ninth grade, I decided, oh wow, I needed just a little bit more than crafting on the weekends, and I developed a Remix Art to Wear, which was first, now it's Remixed Upcycled Art, so that I can expand on that, and I went back to painting. But I still love graphic design, I still do design, mm -hmm. I just did a CD cover for a client, and I'm also getting into color and color therapy. And I've tried to work with children on it to expand um, their creativity and uh, just try to introduce the meanings of color to people and uh, I've expanded on color within the chakras. What in particular brought you to upcycling? Uh, well, I like the challenge of upcycling. Uh, for instance, I was driving along the other day, saw a piece of plastic blowing in the wind, had my husband stop by. We picked it up, of course, you know, nice to clean the earth too. Uh, brought it home, created some beads, did uh, some artwork with it, did a painting with it. And uh, I still have half the plastic left and I've got a couple more things I'm gonna work on. What inspires your work today? Today? Hmm. Okay, um, I, it's the drive for doing something new and different. Um, I try to do uh, very creative things, uh, things that surprise people, things that people you know, may not think about. Uh, plus, you know, I, that creativity and the upcycling kind of flow together to just see what comes out. And a lot of it's just visionary work. I start it, I see what's in the art or the painting or the piece, and then I go from there. What's something you'd like to try in the future of your art? I am experimenting with uh, broken dishes and mosaic type things. So I'm looking to expand on those types of pieces, more three-dimensional um, sculpturing. What has been most surprising about the professional art world for you? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. Because I've always lived and breathed art and I've always been around art, even though my parents aren't. Um, I've just always been part of the art world. I've, I've seen lots of different artists, uh, talked to lots of different artists, and um, pretty much get along, easy going, so I pretty much get along with everybody, so not too much surprises me okay. these days. And um, what's been bringing you to 3D art? Uh, the creation. Um, flat is good, uh, but I like the 3D manipulating and creating the art. Um, it's just more of a challenge because people can look at it from all different sides instead of just straight on. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite piece of your own work? Oh, well, uh, that has to be the piece that I'm working on currently.
I love them all. And what would you say is a favorite piece of someone else's art? Oh, uh, okay. Well, the favorite piece is always the piece that I'm working on. I, I just have, you know, I'm, I'm in love with it all. And if I don't love it, it recycles back. And I learned to love it by making changes mm -hmm. and uh, visualizing some more uh, out of it. What inspires your work today? Ah, that's a good one. Um, you know what? I like to sit and meditate. I find that if I meditate, I come away with lots of ideas, sometimes mm -hmm. too many, and I just go out and see which ones work. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your Imagine That summer camps? Oh, okay. Uh, Imagine That is uh, something I came up with, a friend and I. Uh, I had done art camps before down at Hershey, and they were always indoors in the summer. And I kept saying, oh, I hate to, you know, the kids have so much energy. We'd go to the gym, play kickball and that kind of stuff. And she and I were both like, we need to get the kids outside. So what we did was we scouted some of the parks in Derry Township, and uh, we found Shank Park has a great big barn. Um, so I started out in the barn in the summer with the kids, and I think I did like eight weeks of camps there outside, uh, morning and an afternoon group. Of course, at that time, I had my daughters to help me, mm -hmm. so I had a few counselors there. Uh, then later on, they moved me up to the top of the hill. The girls have left, and now it's just me. So this summer, I'm going to be doing four weeks of summer camp, and I'm doing only mornings. Uh, we usually do like a messy masterpiece. Mm -hmm. We do uh, women in art, although I had to change the title because women in art never fills. That class, if I, if I change the title, it'll fill. If I go back to just women in the art, it does not fill. Breaks my heart. Uh, let's see. Oh, three-dimensional. We do some type of three-dimensional. We do mixed media. Uh, we walk through the park. We find, we set up, we do plein air. Um, just all sorts of fun. Rules at my camp are, if we're not having fun, you need to tell Miss Susie, and we must keep our hands to ourselves. After that, anything goes. It's, you know, if you're not having fun, and you're not, cre you're not, you're just not in the mood to create art. And I feel like kids today really need to be outside in the air, grounded, and have that energy. Plus, we do a lot of nature projects, too, that help them ground. Um, because school today is so stressful, mm -hmm. I try not to put any intention there there to just create. Uh, nothing's right, nothing's wrong. It's all about the uh, creation process. So and we have a lot of fun. My camps are, are usually book early. So um, mm -hmm. check Dairy Township uh, Rec and you'll see the registration in there. What advice do you have for aspiring artists? Ooh. Um, Find your passion and stick with it. But you know, it took me mm, 20, 30 years to find the passion. But if you can find the passion early in life, you'll have no problems, no worries, and it'll just be fun. Mm -hmm. Talk to a lot of people, artists, musicians, um, anybody, anybody. Just talk to a lot of people uh, and just because uh, art has to come from your heart and it's good to talk to people, learn about people, and love people. Is there anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Uh, yeah, I have a couple uh, projects that I'm working on. Uh, one of the projects is for my camp series. Um, the book, this was uh, a, a um, camp that I did one year, Interplanetary uh, Guide to uh, the Solar System. And what I did was we did all projects with the planets. So um, what I did was I made it into a book. So each pay or each planet has their own little info about the planet, and then it's got a bunch of activities, art projects, and creative things that the kids can work on. So this is really good in the summer if you don't really know what to do with the kids. You got a planned camp right there for you. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, I had mentioned early, I was uh, working with color and chakras, and I'm starting a new series on the colors of the rainbow with um, paintings and healing and working with the chakras and color and this is the starting book with it and I'm going to have a journal on 
uh, color, 52 colors, uh, color for every week of the year. So that would be what I'm up to date on. Very nice. Thank you for sitting down with us, Susie. Thank you. I appreciate it.